Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of F1 22 My Team Career Mode. So we have some things that we have to do first as always, so let's get into this. I'm going to try to uh, streamline things a little bit more. So R&D, we've already chosen what we're going to do. So chassis, we have weight reduction, the monocoque structure, that's a, a major. So that should be here by Tuesday, the 12th of April, hopefully. Then we have another chassis weight reduction. The central under tray, that's a minor. That should be here by the 26th of April. And aerodynamics, we have drag reduction. That, that is a major. That should be here by May 3rd. So what do we have here? April the 21st, uh, the 12th, and the 26th. So hopefully we'll get the, uh, the monocoque structure on before the race. But... Man, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, that's if it passes, that'll uh, that'll be tomorrow. So we'll have to take a look and see um, for the vehicle. So the internal combustion engine here, we got 21%. That's pretty good. Demj UK, uh, man, it's <laughs> it's at 47%. You know, and honestly, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, just put a new one on. You know what? That that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just put a new one on. Of course, there's no penalty because it is not race day or anything like that. So we'll put that on. That'll be pending. I think everything else is good. The MGUH, that's at 30%. The energy store is at 30%. Um, wait a minute. Is that, is that right? I don't know. I did read that wrong. Okay, that's at 19%. That's at 36%. 19%, 20%. The gearbox is at 47%. Oh, man. I wonder if I should just put a new gearbox on as well. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think we're going to let that go. So, corporate. Guys, we have to get a new secondary sponsor here. So, let's see here what we have. Um, the gold bonus, the weekly income. Weekly income is nice. Uh, the gold bonus is also nice. So, it's basically like... Okay, we're going to go with this one. You... Uh, you terp, because the weekly income is 128k, the gold bonus is 176k. We don't have a rival yet, but once we get a rival, I feel like that's that's going to be doable. So let's sign up with those guys. All right. So now what we need to do is let's put those on the car. Sponsor decals. Actually, I don't think I have any of these on here, so let me uh, let me do this, guys, real quick, and uh, I'll catch back up with you once we're done. All right, there we go. So we have all of our sponsors on here now. Like I say, this uh, this will definitely change as time goes on. We'll take some of these off when we get more sponsors, but for right now, we have everything covered on the car, so that's it for our sponsors. All right, so only thing left to do is our activity. So what do we have here? So we have three-day durability department focus, um, simulator training. What? Uh... Okay, I kind of like this one because it gives us resource points, and it gives our durability ten percent morale, but it doesn't hurt anybody else's. So I think we'll take that one. This one here, second driver PR fi uh, filming. Sports event, second driver stats. Let's do that one. And we have one more three day. We could do a two day or a three day. Um, see, this this puts all of them real down. I don't really want to do that. Do we want to put? Do we want to put some stats into our second driver? Do we want to focus on him more? Um, cash, acclaim, and resources. Team two hundred. Um, you know what? Let's do that one, I think. Okay, there we go. And let's advance time and see. I got my fingers crossed, hoping that monocoque structure passed. Yes, it did. Durability equipment upgrade, that passed. All right. Beautiful. We got our weekly resources, sponsor event fundraiser. 
We've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Alright guys, so what I think I'm gonna do average speed zone checkpoint challenge. I think we're gonna do the checkpoint challenge. I think that's what we're gonna do next. Alright, so this is Imola. I uh, I've never raced on this track, so this is gonna be interesting, but this is just a hot lap, so it is what it is. If I get this fine, if not, um, that's also fine. We're in the McLaren 720S. I like that. So let's uh, let's continue and see what we can do here. Okay, it does not. Okay, yeah, okay. Boy, it. It just doesn't feel like the wheel kicks in right away in these cars. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm going to be trash at this. Oh. Whoa. Wait a minute. Let me, let me restart this, guys, because... Uh, I don't know, the wheel just does not feel, feel right. So we're going to try this one more time. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, let's try this one more time here. Okay, man, these cars just, they really don't feel well. Uh, and you know, it's the type of thing where, obviously you, you use these types of cars in other games and they just feel so much better. Oh boy. Did they change something with this? Because this really wants to step out on me. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it feels so much different than the last time I played this. I will, uh... <laughs> We'll keep pressing on here. I don't think... Exceeded track limits, are you serious? Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. I don't think we're gonna get a good score here, unfortunately. For some reason, like, it really, whoa, like, right, man, it feels worse. Maybe it's this car, I don't know. you think it would get used to it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. How are we going to do it? Are we going to get this next checkpoint not like that? We're not. Boy, right around there when you get into the gas, boy, woo. It just... Man. The rear end of the car just steps right out, man. Oh, 
on, man. We're not going to make it. It's right there. Come on, baby. 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 Oh, my God. We just made it. We just made it. Ah. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. <laughs> Whew. That was freaking difficult, man. We got the silver, though, so at least we got something out of it. All right, guys, so I completely forgot that Imola is actually a, uh, a weekend where we have a sprint race. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this video a little bit different. Um, I'm going to cut this video into two parts. So this part, we're going to have the qualifying, and then we'll have the sprint race, and then we'll, uh, we'll have the full Grand Prix in the next video. Um, so as you can see, <laughs> I've never really raced around this track, but yet I'm doing pretty good. And I actually increased my AI by eight points. So I'm thinking I may have to increase that a little bit more, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how the qualifying goes. Just so you guys can see though, right here, we did the race strategy and we did the qualifying pace. We, uh, we got five out of five. On both of those all we have left to do is your ERS management we'll do that on the second day of practice but right now let's uh let's get to the qualifying all right guys so here we are at Imola and we're still doing the one-shot qualifying I do believe if we do a season two I may switch this to the short qualifying just to make it a little more interesting, but uh, yeah, I think we are all set and ready to go here. So let's uh, let's go to the track and see what we could do with Quali. Now this is qualifying just for the sprint race, so we got to keep that in mind. And let's see how we do here. Oh, boy, we are dropping way behind. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> hmm. So what happened? Well, I mean, I did kind of botch it. Not looking too good, man. We're uh, we're climbing up a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're not doing great. P17. All right, it looks like that's uh, and we came in P18. I still don't quite understand how that works, but that's uh, <laughs> that's not the best. But that is just for the sprint race. We'll have to uh, see what we can do in the sprint race, guys. Welcome to today's sprint. This is shaping up to be another fantastic weekend. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Perez, George Russell, and Sainz, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, and Daniel Ricciardo, Bottas, Liam Lawson, Pierre Gasly, and Sonoda, Vettel, Ocon, Mick Schumacher, 
and Martin. Stroll, Alban, Joe and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. All right, guys, so here we are at Imola. This is the formation lap. So I've been doing the, uh, the broadcast style just because I think it suits video better. Personally, if I was playing on my own, and uh, when I do play on my own, I, uh, I drive it myself. But like I said, for the video, I think it, uh, it adds a little bit more to it. As you can see, I have a new helmet, red, white, and blue. We have to represent America a little bit here. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I have not <laughs> done a, uh, a real race on Imola yet and every time I get on a new track like this that I've never done a race on I get nervous I'm not gonna lie I don't know why like I get it I know it's just a game I shouldn't but I do man I get I get nervous you know because uh, I want to do well um, I want to uh, improve and the only way you can prove is by doing it and that's why I, uh, I do these videos even though I suck at the game you got to get better somehow you know and we all start somewhere but with that being said this race is going to get underway pretty fast here. So, five red lights. And let's get this race started here. Oh, I had... Oh, that's a horrible start. A horrible start. The, probably the worst start I have had on this game uh, since I've been playing it. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, not that it's an excuse, but I haven't played this game in about a week. So, uh, yeah, maybe I just let it get for me a little a little too much. But, uh, well, we managed to make up position. We're in P21. This is already not going well. I got to say, these cars, they really bunch up on this track like, like no other. And I have no idea how that wasn't a corner cut. But we're going to take it. The stewards didn't say anything. So now we're up in 2P. 20 and this is a sprint race so i do believe uh if you don't get in the top 10 it doesn't really matter but as you can see everybody is just bunched up so tight and um it's a bit of a struggle to overtake i mean that was that was pretty good we made that move stick we managed to get past Elbon. We're now into P19. Not too bad. Um, maybe not the best place to overtake. But uh, honestly, guys, I don't feel there's a lot of places on this track that are really ideal to overtake. Maybe the uh, the start finish straight here would be. But as you can see, I am nowhere near Schumacher, man. He is 1.1 seconds ahead of me. I'm trying my best to catch up here. Such a shame because in practice, I was doing so well uh, around here. And then we did screw up quali, no doubt about it. We screwed that up. I do feel that the, uh, the one shot quali does make it a little more difficult, maybe unnecessarily difficult, but that's what we chose to do. So we're going to keep the one shot quali at least through the end of this season. If we do a season two, um, I'm going to change it, like I said, to the short quali. Um, we're going to have this whole race in here because it is only 11 laps because it's a sprint race. And, uh, yeah, so we catch up to him, but again, you know, even if we did, I just, ah, man, I'm having a difficult time finding places to overtake. I gotta say though, I I did enjoy the track. The track it, it's uh, it's a fun track to race on. Um, I'm sure the more the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. And DRS is enabled. Not that's gonna help us any. Not at the moment anyway. And I do believe there's only one DRS zone on this whole track. So yeah, you, you really have to try to manage your ERS because you're not going to get a lot of and there's a mistake we went wide into the gravel not going to make up any positions doing that that's for sure 
Schumacher, he uh, he's pulling away from us. So technically, we should have the better car now. Um, although I, man, Elbon was just right up on me there. Got to pay attention here. Don't want to get into a crash. That's by far one of my favorite corners on this uh, on this track. This chicane is pretty fun as well. That's the one that we uh, overtook Elbon <laughs> uh, before, but I don't know, man. I don't. That was that was lucky, and I don't know what happened to Elbon, but now he is uh, he's really trailing behind us. So we're losing him. We're kind of gaining on, gaining on Schumacher, so that's good. We are within DRS, and we get it. Now, this is after the last patch, so they have decreased the straight line speed. Um, I increased my AI, like, by 8. Um, so, I don't know. I may have to decrease that next time. It's something that you really have to uh, play with and, and tweak in this game. Of course, I want a challenge. I don't, you know, but I, I don't want anything given to me. I don't want it to be completely easy. But then again, I don't want to be left in the, uh, you know, in the dust either. So unfortunately, I, you know, I, I wish I would have got a little more places by now. It's not looking good. I mean, it is only the fourth lap, but obviously nobody's going to take a pit stop. So we do go blasting past Schumacher on that same chicane. Um, <laughs> again, I don't, I don't know. It's probably not the safest spot to overtake, but at the same time, it just, it flows. You know what I mean? And if, uh, and if I can take it, then I'm going to take advantage of it. And we did. So I am not going to complain about it. And we're behind Mr. Lance Stroll. So we are catching him. And Schumacher, he's uh, like one and a half seconds behind us, so not too much of a worry. But yeah, like I say, with uh, the lack of, you know, multiple DRS zones, it's a tough track, man. It really is. It's a tough track. I feel like if you're close enough there... That'd be a good overtaking spot. But yeah, basically we're just uh, we're just racing our race, trying to keep the uh, the four wheels pointing in the uh, direction they're supposed to. Went a little wide there. That's not going to help our situation at all. Ooh, definitely weren't going to make a move. That's actually came that time. That's uh, that's unfortunate. So I mean, I kind of feel like uh, we're not doing bad. I mean, but we just we just cannot catch Stroll for anything. And I am going to take full blame because the car actually felt really good. Uh, it was nothing with the car. You know, I see a lot of people are still complaining about the uh, the handling of the cars this year. But honestly, I'm not having an issue. Like, I, I think uh, I think it's an improvement. I don't know. Maybe that's how it is. Maybe everyone that wasn't good at this game in the past... Um, I was doing a little better with it now. I, I don't know. So, again, I couldn't make a move there. We're just too far away from the stroll, man. We, uh... We're struggling. We're really struggling on this track. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Next season, 
next season we'll uh, we'll do better on this on this same race. I guarantee it. Vettel's up in P16. You know Schumacher's behind me, so we're we're kind of in good company. I would say <laughs> at least. But yeah, we are just struggling to catch up to Stroll, man. And like I say, it's not the car. It's, uh, it's me. I don't know what the hell happened. I wish I could have had the, uh, the same, the same pace that I had in practice, because we, we probably could have done a lot better. I can already tell you this this whole race, man, this is gonna be you know, this is not gonna be a good race for us. At all. This is gonna be one of our uh one of our worst races probably. This is one of the first races that I can remember that I haven't been able to really make up any ground at all and it's uh it's a bit frustrating, but at the same time, you know what? I mean, that's that's the name of the game, man. That's the name of the game. All we can do is just get better next time. That's all I can, I can say about that. And Lance, he is just pulling away from us even more now. And if that's not bad enough, we have Schumacher is closing in on us. So this whole thing is just turning sour really quickly. Okay, stand by. We see a problem at our end and we're looking into it. Schumacher seems to be staying at that four to five tenth of a second behind. So, I mean, I guess that's that's good. But, uh, man, Stroll is just okay, like walking away. Yeah, we're gonna have to ask you to find a safe oh, spot to oh, 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 oh. No! Oh, oh man. Well, that's that, guys. That's that. That was a brand new unit, too, that we just put in. Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter, because... Wow. What a way to end that. Well, I guess that's just how it goes, man. Um, you know, the worst thing about it is we, uh, we took, wait a minute, what, uh, what happened exactly? Mechanical failure. Um, I think it was the ICE, <laughs> to be honest, and, uh, we had a fairly new ICE on there. It was a brand new, I think it was brand new even, so... You know, I guess that's just, uh, that's the luck you have. But, I mean, the good news is Liam Lawson, he's doing all right. He, uh, he's up into P14, so that, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> so this is the thing. Uh, in this game, anything like a mechanical failure, it's scripted. So literally, I could have been in P1 in this race, and that still would have happened. It would have still been the same outcome. So I wasn't having... A good race anyway uh <laughs> and that just that just made it worse so oh well you know what that's uh that's what happens i guess this is the first time ever i'm, I'm actually playing the game with the uh, mechanical failures on so it's pretty interesting man it's pretty interesting it's pretty cool we'll take it you know we got to take our lumps uh so 
yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weird uh, episode. And uh, be sure to tune in because we're going to have the race, the main event anyway, uh, coming up uh, in a separate video. So be sure to check out that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you very soon.